Okay, this is an interesting question from Rinku Taneja. How to change hardwire neuro pathways? In practical, it's too difficult. I totally agree with you, Rinku, that it's it's a difficult task. Okay, it's not an easy task. I'll give you a clear answer to this question. Okay, first thing that you need to understand is you are not born with those hardwired neuro pathways. You are born with a clean slate. or maybe little neuro pathways that you picked up from your mother's womb now when you were born you were dependent on other people and you were picking up information from your environment through your five senses what you saw what you heard what you felt what you smelled and what you tasted you picked up that information and you that in, when that information went inside your mind in your brain it started creating the neuro pathways from your brain to your body so that your life becomes on autopilot because your brain does not like to spend energy unnecessarily it wants to save the energy so it take and takes care of your major uh, issues that leads to survival like breathing respiration you know your respiration your circulation your elimination your digestion there are so many things that your body's uh, uh, processes are taken care by your brain and your brain feels that whatever energy is with me i want to keep that energy saved for all these processes and i do not want to waste my any energy on unnecessary decisions so your brain is looking out for making your decisions on autopilot and that's where when you do certain things and when you when you learn certain things when the information goes in your brain it starts making it on autopilot as soon as you take action on that information you start making it an autopilot and when it becomes autopilot it gets hardwired in your brain and in your body and then practically it's like a knee jerk reaction that everything happens now you need to understand this where did you pick up the information from two people two things not two people two things one your role models and two your environment let me say it again one is your role models and two is your environment when you are a baby when you are younger who are were your role models immediate role models were your parents your grandparents you may had your uncles and aunties maybe it's your elder siblings maybe your neighbors or your teachers these were your immediate role models unless you were also exposed to uh, television shows and movies where you picked up your role models now these were your role models and whatever the information went in your brain through these role models whatever they believed in whatever was their conditioning whatever was hardwired in their neuro pathways were completely transferred in your brain right and the second influence on you was of the environment your social your economical your educational and your religious background your environment created the impact on you now if these two the role models and the environment is something that impacts you your brain at a childhood and creates the hardwired neuro pathways you can again look at the role models and environment in your life now to unlearn what you learned in the past from those people and relearn the neuro pathways hardwire the neuro pathways that are now helpful for you So the shortest way to break the resistance within you is to find the role models that could be the suppose you want to be uh, uh, like really successful in your business now hire a business coach or maybe find a, a mentor in the business who can help you to grow your business that's a first role model for you right now you want to be successful in the business you need two things one you need the business skills and second you need the mindset skill so who's your mindset role model right there is a business role model and there is a mindset role model you need to pick up both whom you resonate with now you picked up that now you check your environment you check your environment and you see what kind of friends what kind of social environment do you have what kind of friends are you surrounded with are they on the same path as yours if not if they if you want to start a business and be successful and if you have people around you who are telling you business is risky you know job is safe get a government job why do you want to do this business is not in our blood you cannot do this it's not possible you will not be successful there is no 
uh, there is no stability in the business. Now, if you have your friends telling you all of these things, most likely you will not be able to defy that social environment. You got to fi- figure it out. What's your economical environment? What kind of people do you associate with? Do you associate with people those who are higher than you in the economical background? Do do you have an aspiration to go somewhere? You need people to aspire look towards their goals. Like if somebody is in your life and somebody is making an X amount of money, and if you feel that's your aspiration, then that is your aspirational goal. That's the that's the person you should have in your environment. Now you may think that why will somebody connect with me? That's your belief. That's your belief. Let me tell you today. Today we have so much access to people. The only thing that will uh, uh, maybe you it, it it will contradict in your spaces. You will have to give back something to them to get their access. Now it was it's always there, right? When you went to the school and college, you the education was not free for you, right? You paid for that education. That you you didn't think about it, like you paid for the education, you got the degree. Then why, when you grow up in your life, you think that you don't need to pay for someone's education? Like now, the education that you're getting from these kind of people is a practical education, which is as you know, uh, as as or I would say more important. Like as a doctor, I'll tell you something. I definitely paid for getting my doctor's degree, but there was a lot of time. I spent into giving free services to the other senior doctors whom I wanted to learn from. The other day I was talking to my son, you know, he my, my dog, you know, and he was he was playing and my dog he got a scratch from my dog. Now even though like my dog is all vaccinated, but uh, we don't take chance and I said it's an open wound and we are traveling, let's give your tetanus shot. And the moment I said tetanus shot, he looked at me and he said, "Okay, are you going to give me?" So I said, "Yeah." I said, I, I I just recollected that when I was in my second year of college, I joined a general physician's uh, clinic on weekends and after my college, I would go three four hours to his clinic just to learn how his his practices, what are the business economics, how is he working with his patients, and for almost two years, I assisted him. free of cost i didn't get paid for anything i used to write his prescriptions i would give injections to all his patients in fact all his patients started telling me that they wanted to take injections from me and not from his compounder i used to do every menial job in his clinic just to get the learning from this senior doctor and it's not just me you will see architects you will see lawyers you will see cas you will see doctors you will see dentists you will see all of us going and doing an internship just to trade our time to get the experience from the person sometimes you have to trade your time and sometimes you have to trade your money to get that experience and short cut your timeline so the first thing i told you about your environment is check your friends second thing i told you is have the aspirational figures in your environment as a, your economical and your educational environment they teach you a lot and then check your religious beliefs are they coming in the way anyway i'm not saying that any religion teaches you anything wrong please don't get me wrong here it's a disclaimer but i'm saying if there is something like that that stopping you from getting to your space then you need to work on those areas because sometimes we have a misconstrued uh, understanding about about religion that's our understanding then no religion teaches you that it's bad to become rich and it's bad to charge people a certain amount it's our our understanding of it right so how do you start working on these four environments and hire a coach or a mentor two of these things and i promise you okay rinku i promise you on this in 90 days your life will change now if you like that answer everybody just give a high five to rinku tanija give her a lot of love send a lot of love in the chat box And if you got it, type I G I. I got it in the chat box. This is for everybody. It's a fabulous question, Rinku. Thank you very much. One more time.